Hi, Mark Coyle here again. Uh, welcome for joining me on my Archaeological Illustration homepage. I hope you're liking the video so far. The next couple of videos I'm going to be doing are looking back at pottery drawing again, but specifically Mortaria. Uh, Mortaria itself kind of comes with, it's, it's quite easy to identify, I don't know if you can see that. They have a kind of protruding kind of lip or a flange at the top, and some of them come with what look like a lip or a spout. So you can see the kind of the uh, liquid would or whatever was put inside would come out of here. Um, Mortara is easily identifiable by the kind of shape and form, and a lot of it has this, as you can see here, uh, internal kind of gritty surface itself. They were first brought to Britain in the first century uh, AD, and people think that they were specifically used for kind of grinding a kind of pestle and mortar to kind of uh, pummel uh, ingredients for cooking itself. Uh, a lot of identification of this has been done and the actual kind of internal grinding surface has been kind of smoothed down which kind of suggests that these have been used for kind of cooking purposes themselves. Um, the first video I'm going to be looking at um, is looking at kind of drawing or taking a profile of the, the mortaria including the kind of internal, um, not decoration itself but kind of grinding surface and the kind of detail. And the second video I'm going to show is showing how you kind of, you can record this, this top view of this, this front of the mortar vessel itself and obviously the kind of spout decoration there. I hope you can kind of see that. So um, let's get started. Okay, so first off, we have this kind of lovely piece of mortar here oh, and kind of what we need to do is have a look at the kind of, if you, if you remember the earlier videos, kind of the angle it should sit at now. A lot of people, a lot of beginners kind of look at it and kind of think obviously it should be kind of flat on the surface like that if that was on a table but actually they're kind of the angled but luckily because we have quite a large profile here we can place it flat and as you see you have no light coming under under the other side. We have one of these um, uh, radius charts again that we looked at in earlier videos and we're going to do what we've done before which is um, sliding the profile of the, the pot up until we're kind of happy with where where it kind of sits. Again, I usually use a set square for this to try and make sure that when it's resting in the places, the angle's right. So we've kind of got the measurement there. This one's a 24 um, diameter radius for this. So again, I've kind of marked off on here. Hopefully you should be able to see on this on this page. Um, it's 12 and 12 kind of gives this, this, this radius. So what we can do with this, and um, this one's quite an easy piece to, to look at, is to kind of use our trusty profile gauge we've got and what we're going to do is, is, is exactly what we've done in earlier videos so we kind of rest it on the desk not pushing too hard to damage the vessel itself and we have when we flip it up a profile of the pot now because i know this was used on the surface of the drawing board i can then line this up and this should give us a, a perfect measurement for our initial marks for drawing the pot. Now, remember in the early videos I said, obviously you need to measure, check, measure again. And we can do that, but luckily, with this piece here, we can, we can rest it to make sure that the pieces that we do have match up with the profile gauge, which luckily they do. So we can go on, I'm gonna take a second measurement. Again, we're trying to get this kind of flange detail underneath here. So we'll push this in gently. And we're happy that the pins are touching so we take it out we have the detail and then again when we lay it next to the initial marks that we've got on the page we can then start to build up the profile itself now the good thing about this piece of pot is that when it's laid flat we can actually check it you don't you're not always that lucky you don't always get a piece of pot that you can kind of work around but we can add the detail in and again this is done as initial measurements so we're going to go back and check we want to take the thickness of the wall of the vessel itself. Now, again, several measurements, one at the base, and we have the base of the pot, so hopefully you can see that I'm marking that on here. One in the middle, which we could take out. And mark on. And then we take the profile again. We should be able to gently ease that onto the surface of the, the vessel. Using the existing marks we've got on the inside, we should be able to create the profile of the vessel itself. Now, hopefully that's visible. Hopefully you can see that on the drawing board. Don't worry if not, I'll, I'll 
I'll get some details later on. Again, like I've said before, we can fold the sheet in half and we can draw on the reverse side, which gives us the external view of the pot. Now, don't worry if this doesn't make any sense. If you look at the earlier videos on the pot, this, 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 the idea is the same, the kind of the standard way of drawing pots the same. So we have the all the views we need here. Now, what we need to do here is look at the internal detail itself. So we have the ridge going around the rim. Hopefully you can kind of see that there. And then obviously all of this kind of this coarse material on the inside, which is which helps with the grinding surfaces. Now, again, because we have the kind of the measurements taken on the paper, we can draw the internal ridge itself. We can then add the detail of the ridges on. Hopefully, you can see those along the rim itself, along here. So the detail of that can be added on because obviously the profile gauge is, is giving us those kind of those indents. Now what we need to do is add this detail. Now this is done, you don't have to draw every single stone, but what we're trying to do is represent how coarse this is or how, how many inclusions are, are included in this surface itself. Some of them don't have many, uh, a lot of it's worn away. Some are very small inclusions as you can see here to larger ones. So the idea is that we, we take a measurement from the pot, which will give us this, this idea of where it starts from inside the pot. And then visually just by looking at it, we can kind of eye in the size of them. Now don't worry, this bit doesn't have to be accurate as long as you're showing that there's actually a lot of inclusions on the inside of the pot itself. Now you don't have to do it all the way across. It can be time consuming, but you want to make sure it's done right. And then we kind of have that there. And then hopefully we can kind of see if I, if I move this round, um, a page, um, a pencil sketch, a very quick pencil sketch of my time. What we'll look at in the next video is um, the spouts. Okay, thanks for joining.